And finally, astronaut Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore are still stuck in space. What was supposed to be a one-week mission has now stretched to more than 50 days. This after their Boeing Starliner faced several helium leaks and thruster failures. Now the aerospace giant says it cannot provide a return date for the astronauts, at least not yet. Meanwhile, NASA is reviewing its backup options, including the SpaceX Dragon's capsule to bring Williams and Wilmore back home safely. Here's our final report with more about the harrowing outer space adventure. Let's get going. Imagine you're stranded in space with no idea when you'll see home again. Scary, right? But it is an unfortunate reality for veteran astronauts Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore. It's been 54 days since the duo successfully blasted off on a Boeing Starliner's inaugural crewed flight on June 5th. But what was supposed to be a week-long trip to the International Space Station turned into an unending one. Their spacecraft faced several helium leaks and thruster failures, prompting Boeing and NASA to keep them in orbit for longer over fears that the return journey could end in disaster. Last week, NASA and Boeing officials said they were not ready to announce a return date for the astronauts yet. Now the aerospace giant has been testing the propulsion systems of Starliner's capsule to identify the cause of the issues. Officials say the spacecraft is probably safe enough to fly Wilmore and Williams back home. Over the weekend, the Boeing team test-fired the capsule's thrusters while it was dodged to the space station. Boeing said the helium system was found to be stable and the team was happy with the performance of the thrusters. But in order to get the green light for the return mission, NASA needs to review Boeing's engineering, which will not happen till the first week of August. Boeing officials have repeatedly said that the astronauts are not stranded in space and if there is an emergency situation, they could fly back home in Starliner. However, their remarks have only raised further questions that if the spacecraft really is safe, why Wilmore and Williams cannot just fly back home? Meanwhile, NASA says there are some other backup options that are being reviewed to bring the astronauts back home. This includes the Dragon capsule of Elon Musk's SpaceX. Dragon has been flying crews to the ISS since May 2020 and accommodates two to four people. However, it can also fit more people in case of an emergency. In the meantime, Williams and Wilmore have been conducting science experiments, like performing ultrasounds on their veins to understand how space affects the human body and growing plants in microgravity. The astronauts have also been keeping themselves busy with chores like cleaning toilets and making phone calls to their families in their free time. They even incorporated the Paris game spirit and participated in their own version of Olympics and that too in space. All right. They've also expressed confidence Thank you all so much. that the very same Starliner that has trapped them in space would be fixed to return them home safely. I feel confident that if we had to, if there was a problem with the International Space Station, we can get in our spacecraft and we can undock, talk to our team and figure out the best way to come home. Um, yeah, we've, like I said, we've practiced a lot, so I have a feeling, I have a, a real good feeling in my heart that uh, this spacecraft will, br will bring us home, no problem. Uh, I can tell you that uh, this is, this is the, the world of test. This is a tough business that we're in. Human spaceflight is not easy in any regime. And there have been multiple issues with every spacecraft that's ever been designed, and that's the nature of what we do. You know, that mantra you've heard, failure is not an option. That's why we are staying here now. With no end in sight to Williams and Wilmore's near two-month ordeal, only time will tell when their faulty Boeing spaceship will be ready to fly again. Across continents, one powerful news source. Bringing you diverse perspectives on the issues that matter. We go beyond the boundaries to give you that little extra about every sporting moment.
So thank you for making First Post 5 million strong. We are counting on your support and you can trust us to bring you the news unfiltered and unvarnished. Climate change is on our doorstep. It's time for a revolution to take root. And it starts with 1.4 billion Indians. It starts with one tree. One tree for humanity. One tree for Mother Earth. One tree for our future. Project One Tree. A News 18 Network initiative. On the 15th, the T20 World Cup won by the Indians moved across to the West Indies. What can you expect? Hello and welcome to First Post America. I'm Eric Hamm, coming to you live from the nation's capital, Washington, D.C.